Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. Please remember to hit subscribe and like and share this video with other students who might also need the same advice. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about degree plans. For the most part, most bachelor's degrees, you need 120 credits completed to complete a bachelor's degree. But they can't just be any random 120 credits. They need to be in certain categories or let's say certain buckets. This will vary by school, but for the most part, you'll need 120 credits to graduate. In the first bucket, there's the core curriculum of the college. This is a list of courses that your college has decided that they want every student who graduates from their institution to take and pass. If colleges didn't do this and you majored in history, let's say, you might only ever take history courses for the whole four years. If left to your own devices, students will take the courses that they're interested in and that they like. So having a core curriculum ensures that students will take a wide variety of courses at the undergraduate level. This is important to build that foundation. You should be able to check your degree plan on your college's portal for choosing classes. The second part of the degree plan is your major degree requirements. This is a list of courses that your college has decided that are needed in order to complete a bachelor's degree in your chosen major. Make sure you're working with an updated degree plan because these do change and sometimes the information that's listed in one part isn't the same as information that's listed in another area. So make sure that you're working with up-to-date degree information. Sometimes new courses will be added or dropped from your major throughout the four years. So that's something that you want to check on. Check to make sure that you're reviewing your degree plan every year to make sure that you're on track to graduate. The third part of the degree plan is what many students call the fun part, the elective credit part. Depending on how tight your degree plan is, you may or may not have room for elective courses. These are courses that are taken in any discipline and as long as you pass them with and they're worth three credits, you can take any course you want. So you may or may not have room for electives unless you want to pay for classes over above and beyond the, the 120 credits that is necessary to graduate. If you're attempting to earn a minor, make sure that you check the courses that are needed for your minor. Check to see which ones are also listed in your major. You might not need as many courses to minor in something as you think. You might already be taking many courses that are needed for that particular minor. I recommend meeting with your academic advisor once a semester to review your degree plan and make sure that you're on track to graduate. For more detailed help navigating college, please check out my Udemy course, College 101, How College Works, and I go into everything in greater detail. Good luck to everyone. Please send me an email. Let me know how you're doing. Remember to hit subscribe and like and share this video with other students who might be wondering what exactly is a degree plan. And remember to keep learning.